Do you hate that your serve is just so easy that people pass it perfectly every single time? In today's video, we're gonna be telling you how you can have a more aggressive serve and give yourself an opportunity to score points from the service line. Hey guys, we've been having a lot of questions about how we can make our serves more powerful. So in today's video, I'm gonna be working with Eric and we're going to go over a couple of ideas that you can use to make yourself more threatening from the service line. Unfortunately, a lot of us, especially if we've just started picking up the game, we think of a serve as the way that the point starts. But we need to change that mindset a little bit and think about the serve as being our first opportunity to put the other team in trouble. One thing that we noticed about Eric is that he wasn't concentrating on his actual contact of his serve and he was kind of just going up there and trying to pop the ball in play. So I give him a lot of guidance on how he can strike this ball a little bit more meaningful and have some direction and meaningfulness to his actual serving. Good. Okay. It's pretty good. So one thing that I, I'm already seeing when you're doing your serve is that I'm seeing a lot of different spins. Okay, and what normally happens with that, whenever we're thinking about serving, we want to do like a float serve in this, in this specific situation. Okay. Um, so when you're doing that float serve, I, I love your starting position. You're doing a good job of getting that arm back. But the only thing that I think you're missing is your hand contact. Okay, so right now you've kind of got this little little baby hand about the size of a kfc spork so you're real small and i want you to make sure that you make this hand big so i want you to do something real quick for me uh, i saw this video online a couple weeks ago i think it was a high school coach that posted it um, but i want you to clap your hands and now i want you to clap your hands but without using your fingers okay do you see how how big your hand got and how like you're almost straining your fingers now yeah that's what i want you to feel like when you're serving this ball so before you had this kind of tiny hand and when you're hitting it and that's what's giving the ball some weird spin uh -huh. and passers love spin because when they see spin they can start picking up on the spin and they know what to do to correct uh -huh. but if you just float that ball then that's when they have a harder time reading it and if you have this hand really strong and strict when you make that contact the ball is going to pop off your hand a little bit more and it's going to give more power or more trouble to the passer okay all right so let's see that Good. Good. Did you hear that sound? Yeah. See how it's different than the other ones? So now you can play around. So now that we're finding the, that's gonna give you a lot more power as well. So like when you're tossing this ball and you were going kind of kind of flimsy, mm -hmm. it, I wasn't sure if the ball was gonna land 10 feet from the net or on the end line. Cool. Right, because it all has to do with how you're gonna make your actual contact. Mm -hmm. Now that you've got this really strict hand, you have the power. You don't have to worry about that power. Yeah. yeah. So. I want you to think about clearing the tape by no more than three feet. Okay, so let's keep that ball close to the top of the tape. That's all right. So now remember, we still we have that power. Don't don't they, don't like shy away from the power because now once we get that ball over the net quick, that's gonna, that's what's going to make this passer feel weird. So when we're talking about the serving and passing battle, this with that quick serve, that's going to help you win that battle. Good. Good. Okay, it looks like your hand's already starting to close up a little bit. Yeah. So let's make sure that we keep that thing strong. Like, it's kind of crazy. Um, I don't know if it's from my hits or my blocks or, or my serve, but after tournaments, I'm like sore in huh. my hands from making my hands big. So like, it's something that you're probably gonna have to get used to. For this next round of serves, I, I really want you to play around with that back line. Okay. okay, so if we miss any balls, I want to see them miss long, but I still need you to think about the distance from the top of the net. So now you have three things that you're thinking about. First thing is this hand contact, okay, having that hand big, allowing that ball to hit that pad of your, of your hand, all right? Thinking about driving this ball to the net so that you're keeping it under that three foot mark from the top of the net. And then I want you to try to hit that back line, okay? If you can hit this ball and drive it through that zone that I'm talking about, then I, I think it's gonna be hard for you to miss out of bounds. Okay. If you go hot, if you go four feet above the top of the net and hit it with this power, 
then that's when it's gonna go out. But if you can keep it close to the net, it's gonna drop. And I'm not following through, I'm stopping here on a float serve. That is exactly what I was gonna say. Okay, so on some of these, when you're making your serve, you are following all the way through. So it's almost like you're painting a wall. Okay, I want you to give that wall a high five and then keep that wall from falling over. Okay. So keep that hand stuck against that Got wall. You. Good. Nice. I think it can still be a little bit flatter. Okay. Okay. Good. Nice. All right, let's keep playing around with the top of that nut. Let me see if you can get a tape serve. You see how, how much you're still clearing that net by? For these next four, I want you to be okay with hitting the ball into the net, and I rarely ever say that, <laughs> all right? But I want you to think about trying to get that ball to go as close to the top of the net as possible, because that's what we have to play around with. Because right now, you're just being, you're, you're thinking about the three feet, but you're more worried about getting the ball in, which, which is a good thing to do. But at the same time, when we're practicing, this is a time to see where your limit is and what you have to do to find that angle. Yeah, there you go. I'm okay with that. Here, let me see a couple more just like that. Yeah, there you go. That's a different line. That's gonna make your serve a lot more difficult to pass. A lot of people get into the situation where they get comfortable, right? Yeah. Like, the serve is your first opportunity to score. A lot of people don't think about it like that. A lot of people think of their serve as being the start of the rally. That's it. It's like, oh, I got to get this serve in so that we can see a pass, so that we can see a set. But, like, once you get to a point where you can consistently serve the ball over the net, your you're kind of, you're switch in your brain has to turn on and be like, okay, what can I do to score more points here? Okay, and that's why we start driving this ball across the net to go deep, or we start going to the sidelines or to the seam of the middle, or like the middle of the court. And then, <clears throat> now that we're talking about this deep serve, now I can start thinking about, okay, they know this ball is coming deep and, they're, and it's getting on them quick. So they're gonna start standing back further or they're gonna start retreating quickly. So that's when you can pop that short serve in and catch them off guard. Yeah. Okay, so we're just setting ourselves up to kind of win the chess match. That's all right. Good, great serve. Good, very good. Let's keep that hand strong, keep that finish high. Good. Very good, that, that was probably your best one. Because, and now when we're thinking about, so like that last one was maybe an inch out. And I can guarantee you that if you hit that ball three times, the passer's probably gonna take it two out of the three. Yeah. And they're, the only reason they're gonna let that third one go is because they probably shanked one of the other ones, <laughs> okay? So you're already in their mind, you're already making them think, and as long as you, because we're all taught, whether, it's, whether we're learning and we're in our 20s, 30s, 40s, or if we're kids and we're learning, we, every coach has said it, play the close ones, yeah. right? So if we can play around and try to hit these sidelines and make these passers think about passing, then we're already making their job more difficult. But if we just stand back here and kind of float these balls over the net and do what we call lollipops, <laughs> then all we're doing is just like inviting them to have the most comfortable side out of their lives. Yeah. And all we need to do is try to make this serve a little bit more difficult, whether it's making them make a step, whether it's making them gauge, whether it's going short and deep, or if we wanna just go power and try to beat them straight up with power and be like, hey, I'm stronger than you. And that's another okay. way to do it. Okay? Cool. That's good. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Use these tips next time you go out to play and in the comments below, let us know how it went. Also, if you have any more questions about serving, please leave those in the comments as well and we'll make another video.